brings me right here to you. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Bob, K6UDA, live from the uh, Southern Idaho Command. And uh, today, got, uh, got a good friend of mine and a great guest. Um, you guys are probably already know the, uh, the creator of the Alex Loop, uh, Alex PY1 AHD. Um, before we get to Alex, uh, got to get in here with some of the guys that, uh, that jumped in here first. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Andy, <laughs> Andy Cowley, uh, you got in kind of first. Yeah, you did. You were an hour early, so no fair, but Hey, who's counting? Scott, uh, K zero W A V in the house. Uh, let's see. Arthur Heron, uh, in the house. Anton RC three C in the house, man, that looks like DX to me. Very, very cool. Let me go over here to camera number two. So you guys can actually look at me and you're not looking at the side of my face. Uh, let's see. From uh, FJ Hoosier, greetings, uh, K6 UDA from Idaho, and uh, welcome, welcome, and uh, in the house. Uh, let's see, Evan Barrick, uh, hey Bob, in the house, he's in the house there, Dave Ahert, John Onken, in the house, couple of new guys here, I think, uh, um, uh, Alex probably invited some people to watch the show and I thank you guys for being here, all the new guys, uh, which kind of brings me to, um, I'm going to do this, uh, I'm going to do this up front here and, um, <laughs> well, if you guys are new here, and I see some new faces in the stream, if you're new here, please uh, remember, give the video a thumbs up, and uh, please hit that subscribe button, and everything will be good. This would be an actual good one here. Um, let's see, let me go back to camera number one. <laughs> Guys, I got this thing. It's called the Packy, the 2021 Packy One Chip Challenge. And I am less than 400 subscribers away from 38,000. If you guys, if you guys help me hit 38,000 subscribers, I will do the Packy One Chip Challenge on uh, lunch and ham radio. This will be the hottest lunch that I have ever done and probably ever will do. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the, I've watched uh, the pro eaters do this on, on YouTube and oh my God, that looks horrible. Anyway, um, yeah. Packy one chip challenge. Yeah. Uh, Help me get there. All right. Uh, let's see. So anyway, our guest today, uh, I'm going to play a little bit of a video here. And let's run here. Yeah. For those of you guys who don't know who Alex is, this is Alex. Do you know this guy? This is me, Alex. Hello. I am a ham radio operator for the last 52 years, but fascinated with radio communication since a very young boy. How magic it is to get contact with people all over the world by radio. Estoy muy complacido de recibir esta atención suya, okay, en este día muy caliente en Rio de Janeiro. I have dedicated a lot of time to develop the first portable magnetic loop antenna. 
Alex loop. And then I became very surprised with the results. My first time at Dayton sold near 5,000 units. All of them made with my own hands. This time, I have decided to create a more sophisticated antenna and a special backpack to carry it based on my experiences on what I need to carry on the backpack to go out. Alex Loop Hand Pack. It's a full-size backpack and you have uh, containers that you put the transceiver and the accessories that you have on reinforced bag. A very sophisticated antenna with indicator for the best performance associated to a very, very smooth tuning system. So now it's reality with the new Alex Loop Hand Pack. My name is Alex, PY1 Alpha Hotel Delta, Papa Yankee 1 Alpha Hotel Delta from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Alex Loop Hand Pack, more simple and more efficient. So anyway, that's Alex. And uh, without any further ado here, let me, uh, let me bring Alex on board. And uh, Alex, how are you? Good afternoon. Okay, hello, how are you? Very good to see you and very good to talk to your audience, you know. Uh, it's a great pleasure. I have been in the United States for the first time in 72, making some training school in English and uh, in, uh, United, in electronics, sorry. So it's a great pleasure to be here with you, Bob. Well, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Alex, the reason I asked you on the show is because um, through the end of this year, my, my mission on the Monday shows is to spotlight the small business creators of ham radio, the guys that keep us uh, stocked up in toys for Christmas and Hanukkah and, and, uh, and just uh, our own birthday presents to ourselves throughout the year. So uh, um, you were one of the first guys that I thought of because I had met you, I don't know how many years ago at um, uh, the Pacific Con in California. And uh, and, and we had gotten to talk and everything, and I bought one of your earlier uh, Alex loops. And let's pull up the uh, the original Alex loop that uh, that I have here. Uh, this is uh, this is it. This is one of the original uh, Alex loops. I still have it. I keep this in my motorhome, and I use this uh, constantly. And uh, a couple of years ago, you came up with the Alex tune, and that clips on very, very cool. And then uh, you also sold me one of the Alex mics several years ago for, uh, for the um, KX2, KX3. I think mainly for the KX3. I don't even know if the KX2 was uh was there at the time uh anyway i uh looking at that looking at your um your video there i see you have made some improvements to the original alex loop yes yes i have done this was a very, very a 10 years old dream that uh, i was thinking on a pointer that show exactly the the frequency you are at, uh, a pointer that can show you this, give a lot of comfort. The second thing that I was trying to have was a very, very smooth tuning system. And uh, on the meantime, I have developed the Alex Tune. The Alex Tune is a device that shows exactly the current that is circulating and, and on the loop and makes the LED shine as bright as the tuning is already done. So I have associated all these dreams, all the ideas, uh, and make my uh, dreaming magnetic loop. So 
it's a very uh, let me see ahead ahead of our time uh, portable magnetic loop antenna because I have all the features that I have all dreaming for my life to make an antenna. I have associated this antenna to a special backpack, not a, a you know a, a common backpack back from a, you know, a shelf backpack made in China, but I have asked a guy who is my in Rio de Janeiro uh, to work together on the development of a backpack that could accommodate perfectly the the new Alex Loop hand pack. And uh, I have enough space to design two pouches, one for the transceiver, another one for the accessories. So this was a tutoring uh, tutor way to uh, take all the advantage of, of each uh, a square inch or a cubic inch of the the space that was allowed it and uh, very important to know that the the accessories bag uh, uh, can accept even the ft817 the transceiver is a little bit small, but uh, smaller than the accessories, but the accessories can accommodate the FT-827, the IC-705, and all other uh, QRP radios. So the bag is very beautiful, a special made bag, uh, a backpack, and it's a full-size one. It's a full-size, it's not a compact one that can only accommodate a small radio, but uh, a bag that can accommodate everything that you need to go uh, out to make a portable radio. Very, very cool. Um, okay, I have my list of questions that I have for everybody that comes on the show. So, uh, first of all, thank you for being here. Uh, number one, um, tell tell my audience and, and your audience a little bit about your ham radio history. What made you uh, want to come up with the Alex Loop and, and turn it into a business? Uh, okay, Bob, uh, be sure that it's all my pleasure to be 